Hello, welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we are going to do a re-review of the Breville Barista Express. You know this machine, you love this machine, you might even have this machine at home, uh, just like me. So a little bit about this machine for those of you that don't know. We've got a grinder on board. We have a two liter reservoir in the back, pressure gauge in the front, 54 millimeter portafilter. We have a hot water spout, steam wand, grind size selection on the side, grind dosage on the front, single shot, double shot. This machine comes with both single shot and double shot portafilter baskets, as well as a dual wall or pressurized basket of each. So a dual wall, single shot and double shot as well. Underneath the drip tray, you'll also find your tool storage container. This is where I like to carry all of my excess cleaning supplies and my razor um, for my dosing tool and extra uh, baskets as well. So um, customers have been really purchasing this machine over the last little bit, especially since lockdown or the first lockdown. Everybody wants to be a barista at home. This machine is one of the best beginner espresso machines that you can buy. The portafilter is, it has a really nice weight to it. It does lay completely flat on the table, which is very easy for um, tamping. Some customers I find are, don't understand that there is a learning curve to this machine. You don't have an automatic like Panarello frothing wand. So you do have to incorporate that steam and that air yourself to create the foam. So I think a lot of customers are getting that screaming milk, which is what happens when you just insert that wand right into the milk. Um, and the same goes with coffee. You know, that is, this is a more manual espresso machine. It is a semi-automatic machine, but you are dosing the espresso yourself ensuring that the grind size is right and ensuring that your tamping is correct, it makes um, the espresso taste better. And there's a learning curve to that. How do you judge you know, when to make what selections? Eventually you'll figure it out, um, but I don't think all customers understand that there is that, that curve, that learning curve um, to this machine. Once they get it though, it's the best espresso they've ever had. You're able to use you know, your favorite cafe's espresso. You're not tied down to pods or anything like that. Um, and it does have quite a few grind size selections. So you are, are able to get into the nitty gritty of the espresso. I know on the updated or newer Barista Expresses, they've incorporated uh, just like in the Smart Grinder Pro, you can actually adjust the grind size as well, like on the burrs. I'm um, not going to show you how to do that, but it is, it, you are able to do it. Um, you're supposed to do it, you know, once your burrs are a little run down, instead of having to replace them, you can just make adjustments on the burrs. Customers like the fact that the grinder is integrated. I do as well. Uh, customers like the fact that you can actually remove the grinder with the beans still in it. I like that too. There she goes. Okay. Um, customers don't love that you can't, you have to visually see that the water tank is empty. I actually have an issue with this as well. Since my machine is right up against a wall, I don't actually know when, like how low my water tank is. So you do run the risk if you're not paying attention, like when you're half asleep in the morning, making your morning espresso, um, that if your water tank is almost empty, you could start running yourself on a dry boiler and that can cause issues, obviously. Customers also don't love the, like the distinction between, I find descaling and cleaning this machine is not, you know, it's just a blinking that's different. Um, I personally don't find an issue with that machine, but I understand customers going from a Keurig or a different machine that is just indicating what needs to be done, you know, whether a cleaning cycle needs to be done or a descaling cycle needs to be done. It's not overly noted on the machine. You know, it is the same light up function. The cleaning cycles on this machine is, are obviously, they're very easy to do, you know, press a few buttons and the machine will do it itself. Customers, I don't have find customers having any complaints about that. Customers don't love that it's messy. And that's what you're gonna get when you are, you know, you aren't having integrated tamping. You're tamping it on your table, you're tamping it on your countertop, you're going to have grinds. And you're gonna have grinds all in your drip tray. And it is gonna be a little bit messier, but, that's what you get when you're making your own espresso. You get a little bit more mess. Um, I personally don't mind it too much, but I know that some customers don't love that on their nice 
granite countertops. Um, but overall, this has been our top selling machine of the last year. Obviously the price is fantastic for the quality of espresso that you're able to produce at home and the ease of use. You know, Breville does lay everything out for you. You only tamp to the silver on your tamper. The porta filter lays flat, you know, integrated grinder, grind sizes right there. And it does indicate, you know, which way to turn it, whether you want to go faster or slower for your extraction. So they did make it very easy for you, but customers need to remember that there is a learning curve with this machine. And once you get past that, it's going to be, you know, you're going to have a ball doing it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and you're going to make really, really, really nice espresso. So, uh, one year warranty with this machine. We service these machines after warranty. Uh, don't really see any issues coming up with it. The only ones I have, like I said, is, is user error. You know, customers not knowing that we're going to be having a learning curve with this machine. Um, so if you're interested in this machine, you are looking at a really great one. If you've looked at it online, the reviews are amazing. It comes highly recommended, especially for beginners. Okay, and that is all for me today. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.